Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. We're here to talk about the first significant Pacific storm with an atmospheric river to hit Southern California this winter. It's been really dry. Uh, the first significant storm with locally heavy rainfall. So let's get into some of the details of what we expect. Here are the highlights. Now we will see light precipitation Wednesday into Thursday, on and off light precipitation, some snow in the upper eleva elevations. The atmospheric river makes landfall um, in Southern California Thursday and Thursday night, primarily in the evening. The rain will be heavy at times during that landfall, but the main storm is only between 12 and 24 hours Thursday, Thursday night. Most areas will receive one to two inches of rain, less in the lower deserts, and then locally more, locally double that along the coastal mountain slopes. It'll be windy, continued windy in the mountain passes and deserts, and then the winds will really pick up in the actual mountains and ridges with the storm on Thursday. Now the snow level will fluctuate. It's gonna go up, uh, could get as high as 8,000 feet, but we're generally gonna see it around 7,000 feet. It'll then lower back down again behind the storm early Friday morning. Precipitation though ends rapidly Friday morning. Okay, the average rainfall. This is what we're looking at for coastal San Diego, including San Diego Metro Inland Empire, one to one and a half inches. That's total average. Uh, the Orange Coast and Valley, as well as the San Diego Valleys, our interior valleys and foothills, two to two and a half inches of rain. Our mountains two to three inches rain, but locally around four. Now our desert areas, quite a bit less, especially when you go down into the Coachella Valley. The snow levels, we talked about the snow levels fluctuating. So they're gonna go up Wednesday into Thursday. So we're gonna see a rise in the snow levels. Now for Thursday evening, during the core of the storm, they're gonna be between six and 7,000 feet. And then Friday morning, early, when the snow ends, as low as five to 6,000 feet. Now, what are we showing here? We're showing the amount of precipitation in a six hour period. The six hour period would be Thursday evening and night because that's when we expect the bulk of the storm. And what I'm showing you here is the average rainfall in a six hour period. And you can see most areas are one inch. Now there is that purple area uh, where you start seeing the numbers going a little bit higher, but still around one inch in six hours. So that purple area is where we think the heaviest rain will be Thursday evening. Now all areas shown in the red will see heavy rain, just not as much. Now what about the total rain? Now most of the rain is gonna be Thursday evening and night, but total rainfall, the red areas, we're talking about two inches to two and a half. Now the purple area, San Gabriel's and San Bernardino's, more than that. And then you see a taper off near the Mexico border and San Diego, uh, where amounts are in that lighter shaded color and they're under two inches. Now, when is it going to rain? The whole time? Well, we're gonna see on and off light rain, uh, even on Wednesday into Wednesday night. Uh, you can see by Wednesday night, the leading edge of the storm moves into central California. Now on Thursday, it really cranks up in central California. Um, but by Thursday afternoon, you also see an increase over our mountains as shown here with the arrow. Now for the heaviest precipitation, we're gonna look at a three hour period. And that three to six hour period so for Orange County, San Bernardino, Riverside County, our northern areas, between 5 and 10 p.m. Now for San Diego County, it's going to be more like 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's the bulk of the heaviest rain. Now you're going to see light rain on Wednesday. You're going to see light rain Wednesday night and Thursday. But this is the core of the storm. This is the atmospheric river timing. Now for this reason, uh, the outlook for excessive rainfall, it's a very low chance for excessive rainfall initially. 
Now, when we get into the bulk of the storm, which is Thursday and Thursday night, you can see a considerable area is in the yellow shading, meaning some of the rain could be excessive with urban flooding. And then when you go further north into the LA basin, you see a higher probability because they have a more direct hit of the atmospheric river. Now we're gonna be monitoring rivers. Uh, we're not expecting a main stem or river flooding scenario, but we're gonna see significant rises in our rivers, including the San Diego River as shown here with some minor flooding. The Santa Ana River, not expected to flood, but several feet of rise after that rain, especially the rain that comes in Thursday evening. Okay, the total rainfall for this upcoming atmospheric river Pacific storm is shown here. It's evenly distributed for the most part across California, which is great, much needed, not just in Northern California, but all California. First time we've seen that this year overall with an atmospheric river spreading out the precipitation from North to South. Now, some of our mountain areas, again, significant, as you can see here, where you see those four inches that show up in the San Gabriels and locally five. Now, we are starting off with the driest winter rainy season ever recorded in San Diego. And number two for Riverside. So this rainfall is badly needed, even though it's gonna come down a little bit too hard Thursday evening. A map here shows how bad conditions are in Southern California, less than 25% of where we should be for this year. And we're finally, if this forecast works out, make a big dent in this. Not make up all of it, but at least make a big dent. What's going to do it? Well, a Pacific storm is going to drop out of the Northern Pacific, Gulf of Alaska. Uh, right now we see a weak storm going by to our east and that next storm on Wednesday starts to approach Northern California. That'll tap into the atmospheric river and guide it our way. For Thursday and Friday, that Pacific storm, as shown on the left-hand side in the giant red arrow, drops into Northern California. By Friday morning, it's already to our east and beyond, so the precipitation ends. Now, does this mean more storms? Well, unfortunately, no. Early next week, it looks like we dry out and storms go by well to our east. The Atmospheric River, we can track it on Thursday. It takes aim to central California. Then it slips south towards Santa Barbara Thursday afternoon. Now, when we get into Thursday evening, it slams right into the LA Basin, Orange County, Western San Bernardino County, as shown here, Thursday evening. Now for San Diego, by very early Friday, it's right over us. So Thursday night, early Friday. Okay, the light part of the storm is shown here, Wednesday through Thursday morning. So it's gonna add up to about an inch in our mountains, okay, uh, a nice, steady rain that we need, not a heavy rain. Now for the second part of the storm, the main atmospheric river, that's where it gets heavy Thursday evening and Thursday night. And that's where we have the most concern for flooding because of this amount of rainfall coming down in that 12 to 24 hour period. Now, if you wanna look at the total precipitation, these are the numbers, generally one to two inches but along our coastal slopes, two to four inches. And of course, less making it over into the deserts. Now, not all this is gonna occur at once, but we will expect to see rainfall of a quarter to half inch per hour at its peak. There will be snowfall. The snowfall levels will be rising Wednesday into Thursday, but initially some snowfall up between six, 7,000 feet. Now, the storm gets really warm Thursday afternoon, but then the snow levels will come down Thursday night and Friday morning with the cold front and behind the atmospheric river for additional snowfall, as shown here. Again, mostly above 6,000 feet. It'll be windy even on Wednesday and Wednesday night, 
especially in our mountain passes and deserts as shown here. Now the winds really pick up in our mountain communities Thursday and Thursday night with the main storm. Some gusts over 60 miles per hour in the San Gabriel and San Bernardino Mountains. And then continued strong winds in our desert slopes. All right, um, that will wrap it up. Uh, there's no predicted storm in the near future after this one. As you can see here, drying out for the period in mid to late February. When we look all the way to the end of February, we're indicating below average and milder than usual conditions for Southern California. Some links that you may find useful, like tracking the river stages, the rainfall amounts, the wind gusts, are available on the screen, or just checking the alerts that the National Weather Service issues. Stay tuned for updates. Uh, be safe out there. The roads will be wet Wednesday through Friday morning and some of the rain will be heavy Thursday evening and Thursday night. Take care, everyone.